The movie begins with a man named Arthur Fleck applying makeup to perform a show. Arthur had applied makeup to look like a clown. Arthur used to work outside a shop to invite people with his talent of being a clown and entertaining people. A group of young boys takes Arthur's sign board and runs away, followed by Arthur yelling at people to stop the boys, yet no one listens. In a fight street, Arthur sees the boys as he approaches them close, one of the boys hits him with the sign board and beats him together. After the day, Arthur came to see his caseworker for a therapy session. Her name is Deborah Kane. At first, he couldn't stop laughing. But later, he began to cry while still laughing. This was Arthur's second session where Deborah asked for Arthur's journal. Arthur gives his journal saying this is also his diary where he writes comedy sketches and jokes. He shares his past, when he was locked in the hospital. Later he goes home by local transport where he try to entertain a child. The child's mother requests not to bother the child. Arthur guilts about it and starts laughing. At being asked by the women, Arthur gives a card telling her about his medical condition which exaggerates his laughter. The woman ignores Arthur. Later, Arthur arrives at the pharmacy to take his medicine and goes home. He walks quietly, his heart filled with sadness. He comes back home where his mother calls him in. Arthur lives with his mother who is physically and mentally ill. Arthur makes his mother some meal to eat, while they both watch a late-night show hosted by Murray Franklin. While watching TV, Arthur imagines himself sitting among the audience in Murray's show. Arthur present in the audience expresses his gratitude to Murray. Arthur charms Murray and his audience telling them that he takes care of his mother. Murray relates to Arthur and invites him on stage in front of everyone. Arthur's fantasy reflects his intentions of being recognized and accepted by society. Arthur smiles thinking about his fantasy. The next day, in the morning, Arthur meets with Randall, Arthur's co-worker. He talks about the city's condition and hands Arthur a gun for his safety. Arthur is later invited by Hoyt, his former boss who is very rude to Arthur over the sign board Arthur was beaten on the last day. Arthur continuously looks at him and smiles but deep down he is putting a lot of burden on his heart. Arthur goes out and takes his anger on the trash bags. He sits and cries and later goes back home by evening. Each day Arthur comes home and checks his mailbox empty, as told by his mother she wrote some letters to Thomas Wayne, who is running for mayor. He goes to his floor by the elevator where a woman with her daughter runs in a hurry and joins Arthur. She is Sophie Dummond, who is a single mother, Arthur's neighbor, and also his love interest. Arthur comes home and gives his mother a bath. She reveals her care for the letters as she had worked for Wayne's 30 years ago. She also says that Wayne is a good person and would help them once he sees their condition. Arthur watches a movie after some time. Suddenly he gets up and starts talking with himself. While holding the gun, he got furious with his thought and randomly shot a bullet out the window. He tells his mother he is watching the TV and everything is fine. The next day, Sophie was dropping her daughter to school where Arthur kept an eye on Sophie. Arthur follows Sophie from the train to the apartment but doesn't go behind her after all. Later, Arthur sits in a cafe where a stand-up comedian tells his jokes and Arthur writes his jokes in his diary. Back in his home, Arthur comments about people who suspect others' virtual behavior. Sophie comes to the door asking Arthur if he had followed her in the morning. Arthur said yes and Sophie told him that she had wondered about it. Arthur tells her about him performing at stand-up and invites her in. She agrees to join. The next day, Arthur is performing in the kids' hospital as a clown entertaining the children where accidentally his gun falls down. And the workers noticed it. Then, by the evening, Arthur receives a call from Hoyt asking the reason to bring a gun into kids' hospital. Hoyt informed Arthur that Randall had accused him of purchasing a gun from him. Hoyt ends the call firing Arthur from the service. Overwhelmed by the burden, Arthur lifted his head towards the window. Arthur travels back home on a train where a group of adults are bothering a girl. Arthur starts laughing because of his medical condition and these men come at Arthur and start beating him. Arthur couldn't get a hold of himself anymore and killed them with his gun. The last of these three men tried escaping but got fired eventually. Frustrated by his action, Arthur runs to his apartment as soon as he can. He goes into the public bathroom and dances to relieve his stress. Then, he goes up straight to Sophia in her apartment and spends the night with her. The next day, Arthur packs his remaining items from his office where Randall and other co-workers ask about his deed. Arthur straightforwardly turns to Randall to answer revealing the gun belonged to Randall. Randall tries to hide the truth but Arthur leaves ignoring his talk. Arthur goes back home and his mother watches Thomas Wayne on TV. 
Arthur doesn't like him complimenting him about the subway incident as they suspect a man wearing a clown's mask. Wayne's comments on the killer made Arthur more guilty as Wayne said the men looked decent and educated and Arthur knew himself how they were back in the train. Arthur goes back to his therapy session where his caseworker informs Arthur of his state-provided therapy as by government cut the funding. Later that night, Arthur had finally arrived to perform his stand-up. Sophie is also present in the audience as invited by Arthur himself. Apparently, Arthur starts laughing uncontrollably on the stage but he struggles to deliver his jokes. Later on, the scene shows that the crowd applauded for Arthur and Sophie had also entertained. Arthur and Sophie both go to the city after the show and then later to home. Arthur comes back home and dances with his mother before bedtime. When Penny has gone to bed, Arthur sees her letters for Thomas Wayne where he finds out about his father, who is Thomas Wayne. Arthur becomes angry asking Penny about the truth. She had no chance instead she told him the real story of Thomas and Penny's life. Arthur goes to see Thomas in his home. On arriving at Thomas's, he sees a young boy playing on the lawn. His name is Bruce Wayne. Arthur attracts him showing little magic tricks by which he puts a forceful smile on Bruce where comes Alfred. Arthur gives him his name, and upon hearing this, Alfred tells Arthur of Penny's ill condition which makes her delusional. Arthur becomes angry and grabs Alfred through the gate but he suddenly runs back home. Arthur arrives home and sees his mother taken into the ambulance. Arthur sits in the ambulance and goes with Penny. Upon reaching there in hospital, Arthur meets with two detectives who come to investigate the subway crime scene. One is Detective Garrity and the other is Detective Burke. They had been informed of Arthur's reputation at Hoyt's shop and the kids' hospital incident. Arthur told them of being fired because he was not entertaining much and he kept his gun because of his act. Then we see, Arthur sits with Sophie in his mother's ward. Sophie tries to calm Arthur because of his mother's condition. Arthur watches Murray on the television but unfortunately, Arthur's stand-up is shown in his show to make fun of Arthur. Arthur's jokes were not funny because he laughed continuously and his jokes were entertaining. Arthur lies in his bed tired up when suddenly he hears about the clown protesters. The protesters claim that Thomas Wayne who runs to be mayor once had called the citizens as clowns. Thomas states that is helpful and a good leader for the city but the people are not realizing. Meanwhile, Arthur plans to take his chance to meet with Thomas. Arthur comes into the protest from where he got his clear way to go ahead. He changes his dress as a worker in a movie theater where a Charlie Chaplin movie is being displayed. Arthur sees Thomas watching the movie as well. Later, Arthur confronts Thomas at a film theater. Thomas tells him that he is not his father, and Penny is not his biological mother. Also, Arthur was an adopted child. Arthur infuriates Thomas with his medical symptoms and receives a punch. Thomas leaves threatening Arthur that if he comes close to Bruce he will be punished. Later at night, Arthur takes out everything from the fridge. There he receives a voice message where he is informed of Garrity and Burke's arrival at his apartment when he is not home. They wanted to investigate and asked Arthur to meet with them. The message ended meanwhile Arthur put himself in the fridge. The next day, Arthur is at home and receives another call. Someone named Shirley Woods calls Arthur inviting him to the Murray Franklin show as Murray wants Arthur to be a guest after Arthur's clip was broadcast live in his show. Arthur then goes to the Arkham State Hospital to retrieve information about Penny where he is informed that Penny had adopted a child, which is Arthur, while she worked at Wayne's. Arthur was convinced to bring Penny as he claimed her as his mother, but Arthur tried stealing the file and ran away. A scene of Penny is acquired by a therapy session conducted by Dr. Stoner who asks Penny about her abusive boyfriend. He used to batter Penny and abuse young Arthur which caused severe trauma to Arthur. Basically, the file Arthur holds has every detail of Penny and himself which Arthur actually cried on being informed about. Arthur goes back to his building but he goes to Sophie's apartment. She was surprised to see Arthur sitting on her sofa. Arthur was completely turned off and broken, he seemed to be very strange. Sophie feared him and got scared. In the next scene, Arthur is shown going back to his apartment. Arthur came back to Penny in the hospital. Tired and stressed Arthur, after what he had learned, came to Penny and smothers her to death. Arthur feels no guilt in his deed and goes back home. In his home, he turns on Murray's show and plays to be invited on the show by himself. Later, Arthur was applying Joker's makeup on his face when his co-workers Gary and Randall came to share their feelings about Penny's death. Randall changes the topic to the subway incident and that the police are checking up on Randall. He asks Arthur about his answer to the police about the gun, where Arthur stabs Randall and kills him with his head throbbing on the wall. Gary runs to the corner afraid. But Arthur lets Gary go away telling him he was the only one who was nice to Arthur. Then, Arthur walks into the elevator, fully implying himself as a joker. 
After what he had been going through his whole life, Arthur Fleck had given himself a new identity as a clown to portray himself as the world wants him. Arthur stays busy dancing when both the detectives arrive. Arthur ran on seeing them across the city. While being followed by the detectives, Arthur gets into a minor accident while running on the streets. The detectives chase Arthur to the subway. Arthur enters a train filled with clown protesters. Apparently the protesters in one of the cabins starts fighting in the middle of the way, where the detective accidentally kills one of the protesters. While everyone got busy in the hustle, Arthur came out his way to Murray's show. Later that day when Arthur arrived at Murray's show, he met with Murray in the studio. Arthur requested to call him on stage by Joker referring to Murray's mockery. Arthur acts lutely, makes sullen wisecracks, admits to the tram murders, blusters about how society leaves the discouraged and deranged, and upbraids Murray for criticizing him. After another sullen joke, Arthur lethally shoots Murray on air. The news spread widely all over the city about Murray and the Joker. This is where the name Joker was born and became one of the biggest known serial killers. At the end of the movie, Joke is arrested and taken by the police. On their way, an ambulance hit the police car which were some people from the clown protesters. One of the rioters corners the Wayne family in an alley and murders Thomas and his wife, sparing Bruce. Rioters freed Arthur and gathered around him. Arthur stands atop the car, starts to dance to the cheers of the crowd, and smears blood on his face into the shape of a smile. At Arkham, Arthur chuckles to himself about a joke while with a specialist, yet declines to tell it, guaranteeing she wouldn't figure out it. He abandons a path of bloodied shoe prints as he is pursued down a hallway by a systematic. And there the movie finishes. If you found this video entertaining, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. We have plenty more movie recaps coming your way, so hit that notification bell to stay updated. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section. Let us know which movie you'd like us to recap next, and we'll make sure to cover it for you. Until then, take care, and we eagerly await to see you in our next video.